Hello and welcome back to the bee vlog. My name is Bill and today I'm going to be doing an experiment on a couple of my hives. I'll be playing music. But first the results are in from last week's experiment. That's right, I did an experiment on you. In last week's video I featured some of my figurines. I had a Sauron, a Serenity, and a Bilbo that I put annotations on to see if you would click on them. And Sauron got the highest number of clicks of 17 clicks. Serenity got 12 and Bilbo got 2. So what can I take from this? Well obviously everyone prefers to click on annotations that start with the letter S, right? There's a high correlation between annotations that start with S and people who click on them. I kid about this but this is something important to keep in mind when doing any kind of data analysis. Repeat after me. Correlation is not causation. That means that just because two variables correlate or line up well together does not mean that one causes the other. And this comes up over and over and over again whenever we do data analysis on experimentation or surveys. Just because we see some variables correlate does not mean they're related to each other. So in that video last week, I asked for some feedback of what classical music I should play for the bees. And we got a tie. The top two picks are The Four Seasons by Vivaldi and Flight of the Bumblebee. So I'll be playing both of these songs for each of the hives. I like these selections because not only are they great pieces of music, but they line up well with, you know, a bee theme. Four Seasons, bees, bumblebees. It all works together and I think some of you are going for that when you made these picks. As part of this experiment, I'm also going to be monitoring mite levels on the hives that I'm going to be playing music for. So I slid a sticky board underneath the hive and I'm going to be monitoring it over 24 hours. I'll come back tomorrow and remove the sticky board and, and do a mite count to see if the mite drop changed due to the music. And there are so many other variables that I can test for. I wish I had 200 hives that I could do this with and test volume, different selections of music, uh, different times of day, how many times I play the music over each day or each week. There's so many things I can do, I just I can't fit it all in. This is just a pilot experiment right now to see what we can learn from doing this. Now bees are very sensitive to vibration and music and sound is vibration and they can, if they don't have ears, they can sense it. So I'm going to be careful about the volume at which I play the music. I'm actually going to be putting my phone up against the hive body and that hive body will act as a sound board. I don't know if you've ever put your ears down to a table or, or a, a floor while playing music, it actually amplifies the sound. So I'm going to turn the music way down low and put it up against the, the hive and play it for them. I'll first play the Four Seasons followed by Flight of the Bumblebee. It's about a 13 minute playlist. Mm -hmm. My hypothesis for this experiment is that nothing's going to happen, that the music will have no effect on the mites or the bees. But wouldn't it be really cool if it did? That's something I like about science is when you're wrong, that's very interesting. It's going to take some time to really compile the results of this experiment. I mean I can know the mite counts right away, but really what I'm testing for to, is to see if the bees will survive the winter and you know, we don't know the results of that until next spring. So stay tuned.
Hello, and welcome back to the Beaver. Mm. Came right at my face. But I put annotations on Sauron, so I smell skunk. So it's going to take some time to really compile the results of this experiment. 